Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on Brick Mania News. And I didn't do a, a Brick Mania episode last week, mainly because I just didn't really feel like doing it. Plus, there's not much to talk about, so that's pretty much my excuse. So, let's talk about last week's releases. So, first up we get the NKVD minifigure, and then we have the HMS War Spite. So, to, to talk a little bit about the HMS War Spite, it's a shame that there's no minifigures, and it's also quite expensive, like $785. This can be due to the uh, printed tiles, which also looks good, I just feel like it's just not really worth it to be honest, but I gotta say it looks good, but I'm probably not going to own it. So that's pretty much it for last week's news. Now on to this week. So first up on this list is the USMC Devil Dogs, or the World War I US Marines. And finally, Brickman is doing a printed World War I minifigure that's not like a re-release of an older minifigure, especially a Marine. So as for this minifigure itself, I really do like the printing, it's really nice, I really do like the green color. Sure, it's a bit darker than the real uniform, but it looks pretty nice. I really like the the dark gray, uh, I'm sorry, the OD green Brody helmet, and I really do like the face printing. I really do like the, um, the stubble, the, the shaved head, really like that detail. And, and I gotta say, I don't know, for $24, I think it's a bit too expensive. Expecting this to be like $22, but whatever. I'm probably gonna get this when it's on sale and stuff. So that's pretty much it for the USMC Devil Dogs. Next up is the World War I Russian Infantry version 2. So, I really do like this minifigure. I'm not sure what kind of uniform this minifigure is wearing because I'm not too much of an expert on World War I Russian uniforms. But I gotta say, it looks pretty nice. I really do like the Adrian helmet, even though Adrians are quite rare in the Russian army during the First World War. We do get a, a gas grenade, and uh, you get some nice pouch and stuff. And for eagles, and for twenty-three dollars, um, it's a bit more expensive than I top but I don't know I mean this is I mean for some reason this is like like $23 while the USMC brought like, like $24 it's kind of weird I mean, even though despite this one have like some printing stuff but it looks pretty nice I'm not sure if Brickman is gonna make a sticker pack version of it but I'm hoping Brickman will do so I hope that Brickman is gonna release some uh, Latvian Rifleman because I've been playing Tannenberg recently, and I fell in love with that squad. I, that's probably one of my favorite squad, hands down. So, that's pretty much it for the World War I Russian Infantrymen. Moving on to kits, here we have the BRC-40 Bantic. So, it's not the God 64 67 that I predicted, but what I did predict is the inclusion of a minifigure, which looks really good, I really do like the printing, and sure it's nothing special, but it's pretty good. But what's even more surprising is the fact they added a perfect caliber brick arms gun, which it looks really nice, and for $95, it's actually not too bad. If you take out the minifigure and the brick arms reloaded, it's around $70, which if you divide the by pieces, it's around like 38 pieces, cents per piece or something like that. Which, um, yeah, it's quite expensive, but what are you gonna do? But I gotta say, it looks really nice, and it's so selling out real fast, but I'm probably gonna get this when it's on restock because I'm waiting for a sale for this. So that's pretty much it for the BRC-40. Now let's move to something much more interesting. Last but not least is the Brickmania Mystery Crate 1. So about a few months ago, Brickmania made a release a mystery crate for around 75 to 100 dollars which essentially they're uh, they just give you old items and bundle it into some one crate and for the longest time i actually forgot this mystery crate actually existed until today as for what it contains i'm not sure but the information we do get is that it'll probably be some like exclusive minifigure or some item or something but what i'm hoping that is it's not going to be bad because I'm actually going to get this today 
and see what this crate actually contains because I want to make a video on this uh, mystery crate. So that's pretty much it for the Brickmania releases. So that's pretty much it for Brickmania news. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Goodbye, New York town. Goodbye, Miss Liberty. Your light of freedom will guide us across the sea. Every soldier's dream was bidding goodbye.